Okay, and that's all of the screws marked with a P back in place. And I'm just going to point them out one more time. So you've got the two at the top. There's one in the middle there. There's one just there. One there. One there. One there. One there. And then don't forget the one down here. That's the one I usually used to forget. Uh, is one down the bottom there. And that's all your P screws. Um, that's all nice and secure and in place now. So now we're going to put the LCD back on and just put the four screws for the LCD back onto the top there. Right, now that our LCD is back in place, as I can show you there. So that's back firmly in place, just with the four screws up the top at the hinges. Uh, we need to put one, two, three. So the three cables back into their adjacent slots and back into place. The black and white cables going into the wireless card um, and the, the rest going, whether you've got your wireless cards installed, they'll go to them wireless cards, if not, just into the holding bays, uh, just at them two locations there. Right, as you can see, we've got everything back into their holding bays, uh, the black and white cables connected to the, the wireless card, uh, and this cable securely back uh, into its trail, trail path there. Um, make sure it's pushed right down, and we've got the GPU connection there and uh, the webcam connection there. So they're all back into their locations. What we're going to do next is uh, reinstall the keyboard. Reinstalling the keyboard is not very difficult. You just put this, this ribbon cable back into place. Uh, once that's back into place, you've got the keyboard connection down the bottom. Um, so we put the keyboard down into its location and then just push down and it will lock into place. Once it's locked into place, you just put the four keyboard screws uh, back into their uh, back into their places, just at the top. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, to put just to keep the keyboard nice and securely in place. Okay, now with the keyboard securely in place, give it a couple of taps just to make sure it's all okay. Um, we're going to replace the hinge. So you start with the left side first and push the hinge across into place down and across into place and as you go along just press down um, on all parts including the hinges just there where I'm pressing um, and just move along slowly and clip it all back down into place and there we go uh, you might want to give your laptop a bit of a wipe down to get all the fingerprints off um, but that's the top end of the laptop done. So now what we're going to do, we're going to close the laptop, turn it over, and we're going to replace the 14 screws around the bottom. I just put the hard drive cover back on just to keep the hard drives uh, nice and safe and secure in there. So I'm just going to take that cover back off now. Okay, and you want to put your 14 screws back into the bottom. Okay, and that's all of the uh, screws back into place at the bottom of the laptop. Um, so all that's left to do now is to replace the battery. Once the battery's in place, um, you need to switch your laptop on, uh, install the drivers, and uh, away you go. So that was the graphics card upgrade in the XPS M1730. Uh, if you want to see the actual specs of this particular laptop, I'll list them up on the YouTube page on the right in the uh, description section. Um, I hope that helps in uh, whether you're planning to upgrade your own graphics card or not. Uh, I do hope that does help.